Number three, pitching an unrelated offer. Here's what this looks like. Let's say, for example, that you are a guest on a podcast and you are talking all about time management. That is your topic. You're digging into time management. Maybe you have a book on time management. We're really digging into time management. And then at the end of the interview, the podcast host asks you, do you have any resources for our audience? And you say, yes, I do. I have an amazing download on landscaping. If you just go to landscaping.com, I will help you with your landscaping. What? What? Why did we spend 45 minutes talking about time management and you pitched me an offer on landscaping? Of course that didn't convert. Now that's a ridiculous example and you're probably not doing that. I realize that, but I like to make things ridiculous for my teaching points. But you're probably doing another version of that where you are on a podcast interview and you spend the entire time talking about time management and then you offer a lead magnet on fitness or parenting or something unrelated to specifically time management. Don't spend an entire podcast episode or stage talk or email or article or whatever, social media posts. Don't spend all this effort talking about apples and then pitch oranges. If you're talking about apples, pitch apples. Spend 45 minutes talking about time management and then offer them the best resource on time management, free or paid. If you're talking about fitness on stage or on a YouTube video, spend the entire video talking about fitness, weightlifting, nutrition, and then offer them a coaching program on weightlifting, nutrition. Pitch them an offer that relates to the content you just delivered. Do not pitch unrelated offers. If you pitch unrelated offers, they will not convert. They don't know they need it. They are not primed and warmed up as a lead for you in this content topic. Even if you have it, even if you're brilliant at that other thing, they are not ready for it. Instead, pitch them an offer that is relevant to the subject matter you just talked about. In an email, in a social media post, in an article, a blog, a YouTube video, a podcast, whatever the content is, set it up with the core content topic you're talking about and then pitch them an offer that relates to that. It should feel like the next logical step with you. Just like in the example I shared about finances in your business, I spent an entire keynote presentation talking about how you need the numbers in your business, and then I offered you a tool that helps you know the numbers in your business. For example, when I left Ramsey and I knew I was starting a business training speakers, you know what I did? Months before I launched my business, before I launched my course, I created a lead magnet called the top 10 mistakes all speakers make and how to avoid them. That lead magnet, as I began to talk about this content and offer this and put this out there, warmed my audience up to the idea that I train speakers now. So when I launched my business in August or my course in September, that whole audience had been warmed up to the idea of this content of me training speakers. You can do this in your business as well. If you have a launch coming up, a new book topic or something, back out of that date and begin to deliver content to your audience relevant to the offer that's coming. In the year that I launched Take Back Your Time, I knew that book was coming out in September of 2021. So in January of 2021, I started talking about life balance all the time. My content everywhere started to point to life balance because I knew the offer coming in September was going to be my book on life balance. And by the time it came, do you know how my audience received it? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness this resource is here. Thank goodness this offer is here because I had spent time with my content, warming them up to the idea of the offer that's coming. Make your content your marketing and everything you put out connect to the offers that you're pitching and watch how then your conversions go through the roof. Hey, listen, I know that starting and growing a business can be really overwhelming. You have a thousand decisions to make. You have a ton of plans you have to think for, and you are the CEO, the chief everything officer. You're doing everything yourself. Well, I want to help. That's exactly why I created a library of free resources to help you in every aspect of your business. If you go to christywright.com slash free, you will find tons of tools, templates, worksheets, and downloads to help you grow in everything you're working on. You will find a pricing guide, a persona template, a goal setting guide, the workbook for my business boutique book, and many more templates to help you. Go to christywright.com slash free to get your free resources today. That's christywright.com slash free.